Mystery. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> if you wanted a mystery, you're gonna get a mystery. Someone broke all of the Kit Kats at my store. Well, they are Kit Kat crunchy? So maybe it's just a Kit Kat purist, but it also looks about the height of the shopping cart. Maybe somebody just ran into them? I don't like to believe somebody would just break candy for no reason. You're a burglar, but you only steal things to slightly inconvenience your victims. What are you stealing? I would steal the glass tray from their microwave. It's highly inconvenient, and you're not able to simply go out and buy a replacement. Yeah, I guess you'd have to like special order it or something. God, I never thought of that. My answer to this has always been all of the doorknobs, not the actual latch. Just the doorknob, so when you close the door, it latches, but you have to like find a screwdriver to open the door. Downloaded a playlist of ice cream van music. I like the, I just never heard it described as a genre. Now I drive around playing at full blast, enjoying the disappointment on all the little kids' faces. All right, yeah, we're, we're fully into Satan territory now. Don't punish your child by taking their online games away. Log on to their games and get them banned. Modern problems require modern solutions. Even better if you're a network engineer, just randomly increase their ping. Just, just give them, you know, inconsistent latency. Just enough to be irritating. I don't play online games, so I don't care. It like when you're chewing ice and a mint at the same time, while also getting burns from your shower water being too hot too fast. To reach the truest form of pain, add orange juice, this is true, to that ice and mint combo, and do this immediately after brushing your teeth. I don't think we found Satan, I, th I think we just found a bunch of masochists. How to make a, a piss disc. A, a what? <laughs> Uh, pee in a plate and put it in a refrigerator. Take the frozen piss disc off the plate. I'm guessing step one refers to a freezer. Slide the disc under your neighbor's door. Watch them wondering why there is a puddle of piss on their floor. <sighs> Wow, okay. KGB disappearing ink pen made in Russia. Looks just like a normal pen. Special ink disappears completely within 48 hours. Even UV light won't find a trace of the writing. Ten bucks out of stock. Wait, hang on, I recommend, I, I recommend. I recognize that font, that's from Think Geek. Rest in peace, Think Geek. I think this, is one of, this was one of their April Fool's jokes. Uh, but somebody giving a classmate this pen on finals. I'm sorry, I think you mean Satan giving a classmate this pen on finals. Imagine like randomly distributing these through a lawyer's office or like somewhere else where like a car dealership. Oh. Full blast fake jalapeno pizza. There's a pizza bot for Discord. Of course there's a pizza bot for Discord. I just That just makes me happy. Pizza, jalapeno, jalapeno, on your blah, 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 blah. Here's your pizza with tons of jalapenos. Calm the frack down, Satan. Yeah, if you'd ever just wanted to replace all of your intestines, just all of them at once, this is how you do it. Holding the door is slightly open for people. Vlog creations. <laughs> Pro tip, if you see a random couple kissing, grab one person from the couple and pull him, then hit him and yell, I can't believe you're cheating on me, and walk away without looking back. Works best if the person pulled is the same gender as you. Huh? Anyways, hi. This also only works if, if the person that you pull away isn't super in introverted. It's just like, I, I, I don't know who they are. I haven't talked to them. I don't want to talk to them. <laughs> Me calling the missing dog number and barking down the phone. Aww. Aww. You deserve a giant bowl of concrete flakes. I once photoshopped Waldo, Waldo out of a Where's Waldo pic and sent it to my friends. Some men just want to watch the world burn. This person puts honey on their pepperoni and pineapple pizza. Okay, uh, oh, it's directly onto the pizza. Uh, I'd still try it. I put honey on fried chicken, honey on biscuits, obviously. I'll put honey on a lot of things. I, I would try it with pepperoni. That doesn't sound too bad. Honey with all the pizza and everything? Mm. Uh, I'm ignoring the pineapple for the sake of this because that, that, as we all know, is just crazy people stuff. I want to play a game. Good, good for you. I'm gonna go buy my own donuts. Thanks, I'm good. Gave my students a pop quiz today and learned something new. If you make all of the answers to the question C, you will see 35 of the most hilariously panicked and confused faces in the world. Uh, are you Satan? Oh my God, oh. Yeah, somebody who would go through and like do probability to, to fill in any wrong answers I may have missed. Oh, this would drive me nuts. Just saw two people flirting with one another under one of my posts. I deleted the meme. You won't be finding happiness over here. This is this is less Satan and more just, just like spite. Yeah, you, you're just like an uninterestingly bad person. Need more spice. When I was a child, I would install Poe 
Poo, poo you? On my phone, uh, just to intentionally neglect it. I'm guessing it's some sort of a virtual pet thing. I come back to it looking like this and laugh my arse off. Yeah, it's, it's a mobile game. I just looked it up. It is... It is everything a mobile game is, which is why I have never heard of it. How much trouble can I get into for putting itching powder on toilet paper in a public restroom? I, I'd assume actually quite a lot, especially if somebody has a reaction because, especially if it can be traced back to you. Like, there's very clear intent here. This email I got from my professor about me missing class due to illness. Hi, Blank. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to fail you at this point. Just kidding. It's all good. Thanks for saving us uh, from your streptococcus, which can cause flesh-eating disease, which is one of my greatest fears. Take care and get better. I don't think I'd go back. I'll take the fail, thanks. Pull. <laughs> Good luck. Actually, it's probably in New York City and they probably got stolen. <laughs> I've always wondered why nobody has taken one of those 10 hour relaxing rain videos and put a horrendous jump scare like four hours in. Somebody has. It has happened. I found one of them at one point and I was just disappointed by my own reaction. I just like looked over. I was like, huh, that was annoying. And just like, I was like, I, I feel like I should have been more scared. If I was going to go through that. Got any change? Say you don't have any. I have changed, but I'd rather keep it. Dude. I remembered once my grandfather in 2011 said that someone will waste their time by reading my comment. Not only that, somebody else would voice it on the internet. Your grandfather was a wise man. Two of my friends have never met each other. Before they spoke, I told both of them that the other is a bit deaf. <laughs> no. Oh no! They shouted at each other for a few minutes before they realized that I'm an arsehole. <laughs> yes. Yes, you are. That's hilarious, but you are an arsehole. Here's how to really freak out your players. One, give them a ton of resources. Two, have them walk into a large open area. Three, nothing happens in said open area, but a boss fight instead spawns in a cramped hallway right after. <laughs> I would be that person too. I would be running around the arena trying to find like the trigger plate or thinking I glitched it and then being like, oh, well, I, I guess I found the X. Oh God, stealing this for my next game. Basically evil within. I place extraneous incorrect commas into Reddit posts to confuse everyone. I applaud this level of chaos. When they say you're the last one able to ride today and you deny the little kid behind you asking to trade places. Wow, guy makes a girl cry by taking the last ride of the day. The internet is on his side? Are we saying all of the internet or just Twitter? I do it in the guest room and plug in only one outlet. The rest wouldn't work. I think it should be like a clock, like the outlets randomly shut off at different times, projecting the invisible hands of a clock and you have to keep moving the plugs. My brother's Doritos and Nutella concoction. Okay, cheese and chocolate. I would try it. I would try it once. I, I don't think I would like it, but I would try that. I'm going to turn down the max temp of your water heater so your showers are slightly too cool to be comfortable. You're a psychopath. What the hell, man? He said minor inconveniences, not ruin his life. So, so wait, it's it's a room with a... With a did you just make a people sander? Is this a belt sander for humans? It's definitely not the worst, but I've been tooling around with the idea of a... Ch oh, okay, oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna skip some of this, but apparently the idea is that it is slowly moving 24/7, and the person has to constantly move. To which I and everybody else just respond, "No, this also doesn't seem like a very good torture method because uh, I, I feel like the longevity wouldn't be there." I'm just saying, if you're if you're gonna engineer something, engineer it correctly. There is no meter. Oh well, we'll see about that. Word search. Uh, can you find these ten words from our the top ten rules in this puzzle? Look hard. They can be forwards, backwards, up, down, across, or diagonally. Uh, 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 there's no meter. I have gone through and isolated every single M. There, there is, there's no, nah. So fun story. Snow day happens. I don't have to do a test because the teacher decides to put on a movie. However, I'm in sixth period, the second to last class of the day. And someone I hate is in that teacher's final class of the day. So I wait till class is over, the next, enjoy my movie all the way through, and tell the teacher about the missing test. He gave out tests next period. How do I know? Because I could hear everyone whining about not watching the second half of the movie while passing by. Okay, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> you waited till class is over the next. 
that till till the class was over to the next period. Is the class two periods long? I'm not sure I understand the timeline of this. I I, I think what you're saying is that somebody was missing a test, but you got them to administer it anyway. I'm so, I don't understand this post at all. I was an arsehole in first class due to sickness. I snat myself at school and my whole pant was with um, pudding. So a principal came and called my parents and told me to go to washroom. The girl beside me, uh, starting chanting shame, shame, puppy shame. That, that doesn't sound like a very insulting chant. I'm sorry. Just feel like that. Okay. Before going to washroom, I pretend I slipped and deliberately sat on her lap in pretense that I fell down. She started crying and I went to washroom laughing and parents took me home. She never sat with me again I, and I never snapped myself again. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm glad you didn't do that again. She does sound like she was intending to be a jerk. I don't think she was very good at being a jerk. Somebody next to me was like, shame, shame, puppy, shame. I'd be like, you know, a lot of better insults exist. And some of them probably sound less cute. You're now in charge of creating the worst ride at the unamusement park. Unamusement park. <gasps> what terrible creation do you whip up? First, you are prompted to remove your shoes. You then walk through a bed of Legos while Toby Keith's music plays at such an ungodly volume that your ears begin to bleed. As you reach the end of the Lego floor, your bloodied feet make their way to a kiosk where you are given a ticket. The number reads 2601. You are at the DMV. They just called 1891. Someone's phone rings. The ringtone is tub thumping. A baby begins to cry. There are no snacks. Damn, and I thought I was evil. You evil little monkey, you. That, that was just... That was depressing. That was the depressing part. Changing the letters on my cousin's crossword so that it's unsolvable. Ah. For some reason, I want to say to someone, I hope that when you are very comfortable in bed and about to doze off, and you remember that you have to grab something and get up ruining your comfort. I think the worst version of this is just, you get so, you know, cozy and warm and comfortable and all sleepy and then you have to pee. I used to drink tons of Diet Coke, but it's been one month since I've had a drop. I want to share some of the changes I've observed in myself over that time. My health is unchanged. I'm less happy. My one source of joy is gone. Thanks for encouraging me on this journey. I think everyone reacts to soda differently. I, I, I drink Coke Zero like it's water. I literally had a Costco membership and then a Sam's Club membership when we moved uh, to buy it by the flat, which is 35 cans. I went off of it, cold turkey, for like six months. I also cut out sugar for like three months. And I'll tell you what happened, absolutely nothing. <laughs> I had two weeks of, of caffeine crash, obviously, and I had a little, two weeks of, you know, sugar crash. But after that, I just felt less happy. And I just, um, I didn't feel any better or anything and nothing improved. And I, I gave it a good try. I drank tons of water and do, I felt like just bored and unhappy and like there was nothing interesting going on. And then I, I, I uh, on a whim, bought a can at the deli, had a sip and my entire brain like woke up. And I went home and like started three projects and actually finished two of them. And I have not looked back since. I think everyone just reacts to, to soda differently. Coke Zero and sour candy is the only reason a happy, healthy Lexi exists. On a post about that Japanese spider light. Th that what? What's that? Oh, that's just Greg. He's cool. Hey, Greg. Yep, totally looking into making one of these. Hang on, before I go any further, I gotta look this up. Japanese spider lamp. Oh, okay, it's, it's the cube with the, the spider legs. Okay, it's like a hexapod with a giant light up cube on top. Gotta do some extra work on it though. Get some voice recordings on it. Oh, and make a bunch of trigger words. If a trigger word is said, it glows deep red and scampers about quickly and slightly erratically. It just starts quoting like the intro from Doom. The Doom Slayer is upon us. Find a way uh, to steer the conversation. So someone says one, one word and yell, Oh crap, you've upset it. Everyone on the couch, no! Dial-up noises intensify. <laughs> oh, I would have far too much fun with this. I have some old sound modules from some old Arduino projects. This could be fun. What if I pretend to be British for like the first six months at college, only around my roommate, and I wake her up every morning at like 6 a.m. and say like, up, up, darling, it's time for your tea. The Brits are singing a spoonful of sugar. 
make some medicine go down, and then we get back from winter break and switch back to normal and pretend she made the whole thing up until she loses her mind. That would be fun. I think I, I think the fact that you would have other people in your dorm would ruin this. I think the better version of this, this is not advice, is to tilt or rig like a rolly chair or something in the room so that it's always leaning to the left. So she, she kind of learns to compensate or lean, you know, one to the right or like maybe makes the desk wobble to the left. She's always, you know, unconsciously aware that it's a little bit rickety. You know, it's, it's college furniture. That, that happens. And then over winter break, switch it to lean right. So she gets back and like something's different, but she doesn't know what it is. And she's just like overcompensating, leaning like way too far to the right. Like something feels wrong and she can't figure out what it is and never mention it again. Just walk away. Cat in a cup squeezes through the needle. I'm free, yippee. I'm a free kitty. What kind of bot is this? Not on my watch, drinks the cat. <laughs> I, I, look, I know cats have a liquid form, but please, please don't drink your cat. What is your darkest desire? I want to stare at someone from across the street, then disappear when a bus passes. Aw, oh, man, now I want to do that too. Raw chicken and buttermilk in a mason jar. Oh, that. Mm, okay, where is this going? Cut out a small piece of drywall in an inconspicuous spot. Put the tightly sealed mason jar in the wall. Patch it. Paint it. Leave. Go sit on a bench and think about how good that stink must be. They never find it. I, I banged my keyboard so hard I lost my place. <laughs> Where were we? Oh my God, there's a picture. Oh, I just, I, I just read the post. I scrolled it. Oh, what am I doing with my life? City placed new street lights that shine, shine right into our room. Photo taken at 2 a.m. Oh my God. I work night shift. So like, I don't mind being awake in the middle of the night, but one, it's my choice. And two, I still like it to be dark. That's half the joy of working night shift. Oh my God, I would be, I would take that out with a BB gun real quick. That's not advice. That, that was for legal reasons, that was a joke. Eclipse brand gum has started replacing one piece of gum per pack with with what what I suppose is their logo. Yeah, dentine ice used to do this. I used to be like super addicted to that gum, but like they started changing the piece arrangement. I'm sure there's a technical term for it, but like there used to be like, I don't know, a, a, a X number of pieces per card and then they like moved them around so that there was one less, but you couldn't really tell. And this is just the cheaper version of that. They didn't, they didn't have to pay for a new mold. I like to think though that at least one crate got damaged because the packs are now off balance and hopefully that that was enough retribution. Now I want gum. I live in a small neighborhood full of Trumpers. I set up a wireless bridge with a very strong commercial router so it can be seen by every house in the sub. Wonder how many neighbors are sweaty. US vaccine chip activator. <laughs> Fun story, Uh, there, there's a variant of, of access points called uh, it's called production or they, they're usually used for arenas and you know stadiums and stuff like that uh but you need clearance from the fcc to use them but even at the increased power of 100 milliwatts or 125 milliwatts uh yes that's like they really have to be looking to check they won't necessarily make wi-fi better but they will be seen for quite a ways another fun thing to do is if you have a more advanced router usually you'll be able to create multiple ssids if you live in an area like this create a, a, a bunch of like microchip numbers like create like eight ssids and just put like 5g vaccine number 7726 active you know, and just keep the number, number random. My sister ate the leftovers I was saving. So I taped this to her bathroom window. Have a nice shower, sweetie. <laughs> I mean, from an angle, you can tell it's flat, but the initial like nerve jolt you'd get from it would still be, especially if you took a shower at night and like a car headlight went by and you went, holy hell. <laughs> I am a horrible person. I have a pocket knife. And I use the pocket knife to do horrible things. What? Like cut tape. I, I, I cut the tape down to the cardboard in one spot so that anytime someone needs to use the tape, they have to deal with the inconvenience of the tape be being cut. This, okay, all right. I get what you're saying, and this does sound annoying, but I have rolls of tape that I do this to. If you need a pre-cut length of tape, you can actually do this with stuff like gaffer's tape or masking tape. You make a cut all, uh, uh, down. I don't go all the way to the cardboard, but like probably a quarter inch down. And then when you pull it off, you have pre-cut strips of that length. 
So if you're wrapping cables, like power cables with gaffer's tape or something for a setup, and you need a bunch of, you know, four inch long strips, you just make it cut down the center and you just rip off four inch strips. It's awesome. It's terrible for, you know, things like packing tape. But, but there you go, accidental life tip from Lexi. Tell him you don't care where you eat out, then deny every option he gives. See, this can backfire really easily because if, if the person doesn't have patience and knows you're just trying to get a rise out of them, they'll just go get food. Like, I can survive off a can of Pringles for a really long time. Monopoly, longest game ever. Even bankruptcy won't get you out of this game. Oh, oh, it's, oh, it's in, Infinopoly. What? The guy who came up with that thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, dear God. It's 3 a.m. There are no lights on in my house. My neighbor has installed a floodlight that lights up my house, including my bedroom, from 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. every night. Dude. Oh my, okay, so I installed a floodlight at our old house, and I, like, I was super paranoid about the shades to, like, make sure it shaded, like, and ended at our yard because I didn't want to, like, blind our neighbors every time we took the dog out. And Oh, my God. I, I'd go over there and, like, offer to buy them, like, the matching security hood or or just make them one out of cardboard and be like hey c could you just put this like so it ends at your fence because it it's lighting up my living room i don't want to die a virgin done nothing happened you are immortal now oh well that's one way to resolve a storyline i don't know what an evil person did this y'all gotta like y'all gotta straight out your straight out your grammar also, is this a light socket? This does not look like the standard American one, so I'm, I have no sense of scale because it's just a square. I'm looking for a, the stupid guy who painted his dog like a tiger. I ran two kilometers to save my life. I only stopped when he barked. I Only then could I tell it was a dog. I, I'm going to really hope this is like pet safe paint. I'm going to choose to believe that because I like the idea of a dog painted as a tiger that's kind of cute and kind of wholesome and funny as hell. But I also don't really want the dog to get like cancer or something next time when you open a pack of gum in class <laughs> okay that's 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 genuinely good one well done people also ask what is that word uh, the phobia of it's the the fear of long words right yes yes the fear of long words is a long word ha huh, medical jokes terrorizing people since forever i'm sorry my hamster clipped through my kitchen floor and died by fall damage in my washing machine was not fun to clean i'm s i'm s dude what it would be very easy to clean you just need to hit one button yeah but there's bones like that's that's not gonna go through the filter r slash found satan I mean, yes, it is a terrible thing, but also it's it's impractical and bad for the, the machine. Like, this is just bad on all levels. Sane would be smarter than this. 